your life's trajectory is about to shift into powerful alignment with your soul's higher destiny. Eclipse season is here, and this is one of the most intensively transformational energetic shifts of the year. This shift has the potential to bring profound inner healing, purification, and change that alters your timeline. Tune in with me and get ready to receive your angel's messages on the new moon solar eclipse cycle spanning from October 14th through 27th, 2023. The new moon solar eclipse is happening on October 14th in the sign of Libra. Since eclipses always come in pairs, it will of course be followed up by a full moon lunar eclipse on October 28th in the sign of Taurus. These two eclipses make up eclipse season, a time of accelerated change in Mother Earth's spiritual energy field, increased ascension activation, and major potential for life changes. This eclipse season will last until around November 12th, spanning about one month. In this video, I'm going to share everything you need to know about the first half of this eclipse season. The new moon solar eclipse in Libra on October 15th is what is known as an annular eclipse when the moon passes between the Earth and the Sun but doesn't completely cover the Sun's disk. This leaves the Sun's outer edge visible as a bright ring of fire or annulus around the darkened moon. This is creating an energy that from a spiritual standpoint is jumpstarting our relationship with our soul's higher destiny. Before you incarnated into this human lifetime, your soul set specific intentions for what you would like to experience in this life. These intentions make up your soul's contract or mission for this lifetime. During this eclipse season, the Earth's energy field is opening up to receive an influx of divine light from the heart of the universe. Everything that the Earth's spiritual energy body receives, you receive too. As you receive this influx of high vibrating, soul activating energy, you'll be receiving an intuitive reminder of your soul's contract, your mission for this lifetime. Now, a new moon is always about new beginnings and planting new seeds, but a new moon solar eclipse is basically a new moon on steroids. So this is one of your most powerful opportunities for new beginnings all year, and these new beginnings will be specifically aligning you with your soul's higher destiny. With that in mind, trust in the changes that appear on your life's path. Whether new things come in or old things leave, this is the hand of fate aligning you with your soul's mission. Trust also in the er internal realizations, emotional discoveries, memories, or intuitive messages that arise within your heart and mind, as these two are all a part of alignment with your destiny. Know that the type of change that is coming into your life now is setting the tone for your path ahead for years to come meaning that your life's timeline is receiving a permanent alteration. To align with this transformational energy flow and get the most out of it, go within and tune into your heart's truth. What is it that you truly value at this time? What is it that you truly need and desire? How are you feeling? Eclipses are portals into higher states of consciousness, and practicing self-inquiry, reflection, and meditation can help you to take a quantum leap into new evolved states of being. Remember, during an eclipse, you receive an accelerated inflow of high-spectrum divine light and consciousness. As the new light flows in, it naturally purges out anything that does not serve your highest good. For example, if there's a certain relationship in your life that drains your well-being, you'll be guided to set high boundaries or perhaps even to walk away completely. If there is a behavior or a lifestyle pattern that doesn't serve your health and empowerment, you'll be guided to release it. If you are in a job that doesn't line up with your soul's mission, then you'll be guided to take steps to change it. Again, trust in the universe through whatever arises either internally within your heart and mind or externally in the world around you. All of this change is serving you to help usher in a new earth consciousness wherein you're fulfilling your soul purpose, living in alignment with your truth, and experiencing a higher level of fulfillment. With all of this vibrant change on the horizon, your creative energy has the potential to be very high. 
Creative energy is what you use to co-create your reality. So this is the perfect time to set strong intentions for your path ahead. Spirit is guiding you to envision your best life with detailed beauty and precision. So allow the visionary part of your spirit to explore and imagine what you want to create. Then get creative with setting those intentions. Journaling, poetry, painting, drawing, singing, spiritual rituals, and dancing are all wonderful ways to express and ground your intentions for manifestation. To help you with this, I left my Solar Eclipse Guided Ritual linked for you in the description below. Check it out. It's a great way to set powerful intentions creatively. Now, with all of this rebirth and transformation in the air, know that your body is along for the ride. According to the angels, you may be receiving big downloads of intuitive information and ideas regarding your health and physical wellness. Your physical body is the earthly temple of your spiritual ascension, and as you heal and strengthen it, it will serve you to more sustainably hold new consciousness that's coming in. Now, there's one more big cosmic energy shift we must discuss in order to understand the magnitude of this eclipse. That shift is symbolized by Pluto moving direct on October 10th, just four days before the solar eclipse. Many of our outer planets have been in retrograde for the past several months. This symbolizes a life review, retracing our steps and going deep into our foundations to rebuild based on what truly serves your highest values. From October through January, the outer planets are all gradually going direct, creating a shift wherein life starts to move forward with new growth in a significant way. Pluto is the planet of death, transformation, and rebirth. And when it shifts, it strips you down to your core so that the truth becomes visible and the regeneration you need in your life can take place. Pluto has been squared to the nodal axis all year. The nodal axis symbolizes the transition from the past to the future and all the major evolutionary trigger points that fuse us with our soul destiny. Again, remember that Pluto is about death, transformation, and rebirth. So these cycles of death, transformation, and rebirth are going to guide us along the path that leads to your soul destiny now. The soul lessons we're being guided to learn as we walk this path are about awakening to our power and learning how to wield our power. You are the co-creator of your reality. And each time you make a choice, you are cultivating your reality. Will you choose love or fear, victimhood or empowerment? The choice is yours, and it is seeding your future timeline. Now, one more very important note to make about Pluto's shift is that this is the last time that Pluto will be in this particular alignment for over 200 years, meaning this is the last time we're going to see this particular flavor of transformational, world-shifting energy in our lifetimes. So, make the most of it. Tune into your relationships, behavioral patterns, and values. It's time to upgrade so that your life's focus is pointing you in the direction of all that you truly value the most. This is also a very powerful cosmic alignment for the United States of America, as Pluto is conjunct the U.S.'s natal Pluto during that second week of October. This symbolizes a destruction of the old in order to create something new. This is about rebirth for America's values, wherein everything is up for a reevaluation. Does America really stand for justice, freedom, and equality for all? Are the values shifting? Is the system shifting to better support America's true values? One of the biggest potential areas for change is economics and finances, as this shift is activating through America's second house of finances. We may very well see high points of change on the social, economic, and political stage during October and November, which will continue throughout 2024 and echo throughout the world. Again, this is the last time that Pluto will be here for over 200 years, so it's setting the tone for a whole new era. Okay, with that energetic backdrop in mind, let's go into the finer details and get angel messages on what you can personally expect for the path ahead. I'm about to share the top three angel messages for this first half of the eclipse season, and all three are likely to apply to your path in some way. However, if you'd like to get a sense of which message is your leading lesson or theme, 
then pick a number one, two, or three right now. Whichever number you're drawn to will be your main angel message. Ready? Let's dive in. The angel's first message is, this is your moment for aligning with your true self. You're being, being guided to discover who you truly are, then change your life to live in alignment with who you truly are. Essentially, you're renewing your relationship with yourself as you discover the true values, power, and passion that inspire your spirit. One of the biggest influences behind this is the high-frequency spiritual energy flowing into your spiritual energy body throughout this eclipse season. As new spiritual energy flows in, it pushes out the old and worn out, creating a clear pathway for you to connect with your higher self. Your higher self is the part of you that is one with the highest divine creator mind now and always. It is the part of you that knows your soul's purpose, remembers every incarnation you've ever had, and channels unlimited divine power. Now, during your sleep, you'll be guided to align very clearly with your higher self and download a deeper level of self-understanding. All the false, limiting, fear-based constructs that you've attached to your identity as a result of past challenges are now under pressure to release and clear. You may find yourself feeling drawn towards shadow work, which is inner spiritual work where you make yourself aware of what you're holding in your unconscious mind, especially the parts of yourself you've pushed down or repressed. Then integrate those pieces of yourself into your healing, your self-love, and your self-acceptance. Shadow work, as well as deep self-reflection, includes digging up hidden truths from your subconscious mind and understanding what needs to be broken down and released in order to build the new. With all of this higher self-alignment and inner self-discovery, you'll be awakening your psychic and intuitive gifts, and perhaps even receiving messages and downloads from higher spiritual beings such as the angels. The angels want you to know that who you truly are is a piece of God, an incarnation of the divine creator mind. You're being guided to remember this truth now so that you can free yourself of limitations, discover what it is you truly value in life, and live authentically and honestly based on that truth. The angel's second message is, this is your time for relationship upgrades. With all of the self-transformation you'll be experiencing over this eclipse cycle, it's only natural that your relationships with others will be upgrading too. Essentially, you're bringing a whole new you to your relationships, and it's time that your relationships upgrade to match the values and truth that you stand for. Anyone who is not meant to be in your life will be nudged out, so pay attention to the signs and take action steps to protect your values and your self-love in your relationships. Anyone who is meant to be in your life will be guided into a higher level of harmony with you, meaning that if there are any issues to work out or there's a need to bond more closely, now is the time to do it. All of your connections are basically illuminating with heavenly truth, revealing where you can connect in safety, support, and love, and where you need to create healthy boundaries. This is in support of your entering into the New Earth Consciousness, where community is one of the main building blocks of a new way of life. To learn more about the New Earth, you can check out my video on this topic linked for you below. Now. You may also find yourself feeling filled with a fierce drive to find truth, honesty, and justice during this part of the eclipse cycle. This truth-seeking energy is very pragmatic and realistic, and you may find that this pragmatic, realistic mindset will drive you to appraise your relationships, helping you to review whether your relationship patterns reflect your values and serve balance, fairness, and wellness. You may find that this truth-seeking review is not only flowing through your mindset regarding your personal relationships, but also your relationship with the world at large. Allow your heart and mind to lead you deep into those reflections. The values you hold in your relationship with yourself, others in the world, are the energetic infrastructure upon which your life is created. When you make positive shifts in these areas, you're actually manifesting a whole new life. The angel's third message is, get ready for a karmic power shift. From this point forward, you are setting the tone for many years ahead. 
one of the biggest karmic lessons driving this is around power. You are being guided to reclaim the truth that you are an unlimited divine co-creator of reality. You are being guided to break free from disempowerment, whether this stems from beliefs, relationship patterns, lifestyle patterns, or the way you connect with the world around you. You may find yourself feeling powerfully driven to reclaim your sovereignty and freedom. On a collective scale, this is echoed with a collective drive towards facilitating human rights and a higher level of collective empathy. Anything that does not serve sovereignty, human rights, self-empowerment, and freedom may be getting a big dose of karmic pressure to move, dissolve, or clear. What is empowering this karmic reclaiming of power is learning to see all sides of a situation. When we see not only from our own perspective, but also from the perspectives of others, we're able to reach a higher level of empathy and understand the truth from a higher vantage point. This lesson is about rebalancing the power of the individual with the power of groups and collectives, meaning we may see lessons and themes playing out in the world regarding personal freedom versus the power of the overculture or society we live in. With any conflicts or clashes in power that arise through this lesson, you'll be guided to learn whether or not you're giving your power away to the external world or whether you're standing in your own divine power. You'll also be guided to hold boundaries where they are needed and get very clear about what kind of lifestyle and choices support your highest expression of personal empowerment. Remember, Pluto is going direct right before this eclipse, and it's bringing in deep transformation, especially around power issues. We cannot bypass the inner work we're being guided to do right now. Rather, we're being guided to venture deep, transmute what was disempowering in the past, and build a brand new relationship with power and control. By the way, if you've experienced fear-based control issues in the past, you'll be guided to face this honestly and work on releasing fear from your relationship with control. When we hold on to fear-based beliefs, this causes us to grip onto life with an overly controlling and anxious approach to living. Control is part of your masculine energy. Remember, all human beings have equal amounts of masculine and feminine or yin and yang energy within them. Control is a very positive value so long as it isn't coming from fear. Positive control might look like benevolent self-discipline and self-mastery that you use to achieve a high level of skill. Your angels are helping you to learn positive, empowering control while freeing yourself of negative fear-based control. Letting go of fear-based control can make us feel very raw, exposed, and vulnerable because over-control is often a self-defense mechanism. Affirmed regularly, I am safe. It is safe for me to release fear-based control now. It is safe for me to deepen my faith and my trust in the flow of the universe. As you affirm these truths, you're reprogramming your relationship with power. This is deep work. If it sounds intense, it's because it is. And this is very healing work, too. Chiron, the asteroid known as the Wounded Healer, is highly active during this eclipse. This helps us to source power and wisdom from our past wounds by healing from them. This is helping you to travel to the depths of your soul, make peace with the pain of the past, transmute limiting fears, and step into your full power and strength as a sacred expression of the divine. My love and prayers go with you as you do this important work. If you'd like some guidance in connecting with the Eclipse energies, then remember to check out the link in the description to do my Solar Eclipse guided ritual and meditation. I left a few other helpful resources for you there as well. If you enjoyed this video, I'd be so grateful if you hit the like button so that other people will be able to find these messages here on YouTube as well. And thank you so much for commenting, sharing, subscribing, and hitting the notification bell. It is my honor to be connected with you. Please be well and know until next time that you are so loved and so very blessed. Bye!